What's going on guys? My name's Jeff and this is Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at the Seaside Aquatics Multipurpose Digital Meter. What's going on guys? We're back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision whether or not that product is right for you, your reef tank, and your budget. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Seaside Aquatics Multi-Purpose Digital Meter. And what the multi stands for is Salinity, Temperature, and TDS. So let's take a look. Alright folks, so we have the Multi-Purpose Digital Meter and this is going to help you measure salinity, temperature, and TDS. It has a large LCD screen, it has a high resolution measurement reading, and it's very accurate as far as the values in which it's measuring, and it has an automatic temperature compensation when it's measuring the salinity, and has water and TDS reading, which TDS stands for total dissolved solids, which is something that's very important with saltwater aquariums because you want to make sure that you have a pure product when you are dealing with water for your reef tank and when you open it up you have a cleaning cloth you have your instructions manual a key for unlocking the back of the meter and some calibration fluid now one of the first things that you're going to want to do when you use your meter for the very first time is calibrate it and to do that what you do is you hit the on button and hold it once you see the CSL, it is looking for the calibration fluid. Down for a second. We're going to put that in there and hold it. And then as it's blinking on the bottom, it's measuring. Once it displays the 35 parts per thousand, it has calibrated itself and it's ready to go. Once it's calibrated, it's ready to use. Uh, all you have to do is just hit that off button and it's going to shut off. And then once you get to some water that you want to measure, uh, you would turn it back on. You want to make sure that you would rinse the probe prior to being used again, uh, just so it isn't, you know, messing with your readings at all. But you can reuse this calibration fluid a couple times um, as long as you have it. This bottle does have a tendency to leak a little bit, so that's something that I think it's important to know. Uh, and as far as what you got for calibration fluid, there's not a ton there, so you might want to pick up some more just in case. All right, so we are at the reef tank and we're going to turn on our digital meter by hitting the button once once it starts blinking that green rdy means it's ready put it in the water as long as it's blinking right here it is measuring the water once it stops it will give you your reading which that's a little bit higher than i want to be on my specific gravity but i just calibrated this so it's definitely going to be on point as far as your parts per thousand again that's a little high so it looks like the tank could use a little bit of fresh water and as far as the temperature that you have right here on your reading uh, it's 26.3 degrees celsius which i believe is around 79 ish i don't have a converter handy but uh, it's somewhere in that ballpark which is a little bit warmer than i'd like to be again um, I, I prefer to be here in that 78 degree mark but that's not too bad and if you wanted to measure your total dissolved solids in fresh water, when you see that H in this weird line over here, uh, you'd put it in and get your reading that way. Actually, let's grab some water from my RODI, some rejected water from my RODI, and see how the total dissolve reading works. Okay, so right now what I have is a glass filled with rejected RO water. And what we're going to do is show how the TDS meter works. So just as you would with the aquarium, we're going to turn it on and get your reading. It's measuring currently, then it stops. Once it stops measuring, you cycle through. It's going to show you parts per thousand on your salinity. Then it's going to show you your TDS, which this rejected water from my RO is 125 parts per million TDS, which is definitely something that you don't want entering into your reef tank because it's going to cause all sorts of problems with uh, your water quality in your tank and that's definitely going to lead to some bigger issues all right folks that's going to do it for our look at the seaside aquatics multi-purpose digital meter if you want to check out this product there's going to be a link down in the description below 
and I'm gonna tell you right now, this guy is priced very well. So if you wanna take a look at this product, do some more research, check us out at premiumaquatics.com. That's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time, right here with a brand new product. Thank you.